final of the International Wildcard Tournament, Australia's Immunity takes on the CIS Champions Gaming Gear. Elysia goes deep at the enemy red and gives up first blood. You can see Mazarin's going to come around the side. Cassidy not really in a position. MBS is going to close in as well. Elysia's in all sorts of trouble. Has to flash away. Is it going to be enough? They can see Elysia flying there. It is going to be MBS that picks up first blood. The late game is where gaming gear struggles and it shows when they get into a fight with immunity. Pops out that Zonia's inspiring. Meanwhile on the side there, it is going to be MBS going down. Heavens picks up that kill. Now they're getting on towards Deadly Brother. He just gets popped where he stands. Swipe against him towards him. Heaven reports across crescendo was used as well as the kick, but it's a double kill for Swiper. Now they're on towards the Luna, he's gonna go down. Gaming Gear overpowers immunity and is one game away from the wild card final. The Nexus is exposed, Rainy is doing all he can, but it's gonna be Gaming Gear that take the victory. In the second game, the CIS champions start off strong, and it looks like they've run away with the game. Meanwhile in the mid lane, Heavens is gonna get caught out once again by Mazarin, but it will finally be the kill. Mazarin goes down, shut down bonus to Rainy. But Immunity's Elysia is not there. We see Alicia is going to slide in. Is he going to land a smite in the right side? Oh, he yeah. has got it. He manages to take it out. He's going to get down, take it down. After a hard-fought victory, Gaming Gear secures their spot in the wildcard final. Next up, Brazilian powerhouse Kane Gaming takes on Dark Passage. Kane run away with the early game and don't look like they let this one slip. Crescendo locks up two members of Dark Passage and Kane with a dragon and a double kill. With a big lead, Kane Gaming groups up for the final fight in bottom lane. So now they carry on chasing. Italian is the next focus of the target. Intervention comes down, managing to save Varys, but only for a brief second as he gets slowed by everybody's cue. Dark Passage is not out of this one yet as they gear up for game two. First blood goes to Naru on Dragas with help from Lee Sin. Oh, he's now jumped on. The execution not going to be enough. Ignites are traded back and forth. Who's going to pick up the first blood yet? It does land for Naru playing Dragas. Hazix is absolutely ripping Kane apart. Pick up one, pick up two. Tazdav trying to find more kills as he gets bubbled in the air. That is a triple kill. He's looking for number four. Cell Division is going to be available. That's the quadra kill. Are we on for the pentakill? The blobs are there. Yeah, are they going to time it? This may be the second pentakill as Tazdav's looking for it. Pentakill! Kill for Fab Fab's Kha'Zix. And it's on to Game 3. Dark Passage pushes Kane's mid turret, but the Brazilians aren't about to let that happen. Kane Gaming turn their focus onto Naru. The tower is still hammering away in the background. The RTT is going to be able to pick up the second kill as it was Sir T to secure the first. A flash forward onto Holy Thoth. One more crushing blow is going to secure the kill. Kane has a big lead and go for Baron. Oh, the... he steals it! He manages to steal the Baron buff! But the Baron steal is too little, too late for Dark Passage, and Kane brings it home. Ladies and gentlemen, Kane Gaming have done this in dramatic style. It win the set two to one. Kane Gaming will be facing Gaming Gear to duke it out for a place at the World Championship.